Welcome back everyone, Matthew here with Cinegold, and today we're going to be mixing up the formula a little bit and showing you the top 10 new movies in September 2024 period. That includes theaters, Netflix, Prime, everything. The 10 best looking new movies of the month, every month, and everything is in chronological order. So let's start things off with the first big release of the month on September 6th. Don't ever say that name. Beetlejuice. The juice is loose. The first big release you can check out in September is Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. This is a sequel to the 1988 classic and takes place 36 years after the original and brings back the Dietz family who again accidentally released Beetlejuice. The sequel brings Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder back in their original roles as well as Jenna Ortega as Lydia's daughter. It's again directed by Tim Burton. Do we need a Beetlejuice sequel 36 years after the original? Probably not, but I did enjoy the original. I'll probably wait to see how early reviews look, though, before jumping into this one. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice releases in theaters on September 6th. Also releasing in theaters on the 6th is the A24 psychological horror film, The Front Room. She thinks that the Holy Spirit possesses her and gives her power. The main reason this looks interesting is that it's being directed by Max and Sam Eggers, the brothers of Robert Eggers, the director known for modern horror gems, The Witch, and The Lighthouse. Max helped Robert during the creative process, so he does have some experience, although this is his and Sam's directorial debut. The Front Room is based on a short story about a couple who are forced to take responsibility for an estranged stepmother. Who knows if it'll be anywhere near as good as Robert Eggers' film but it might be worth paying attention to. Next up is Transformers 1. This is an animated film that serves as a prequel to the Transformers movies and is an origin story set on Cybertron that shows how Optimus Prime and Megatron went from being friends to sworn enemies. It's rated PG unlike the other movies, which were rated PG-13, so probably meant more for kids. It stars the voice of Chris Hemsworth and is directed by Josh Cooley, who directed Inside out and up. It releases in theaters on the 13th. And if you think that's a bit too kiddy, you might be more interested in the psychological thriller Speak No Evil that also releases on the 13th. And what is wrong with you? Just feel the rhythm in your feet. Right, one, two, three, four. Go! What is wrong with you? This is a remake of the 2022 Danish film and is about a family that goes on a dream holiday that quickly becomes a nightmare. It stars James McAvoy, who's always excellent, and is directed by James Watkins, who is most known for Eden Lake. Again, you can find it in theaters on the 13th. And a third movie that releases on the 13th is the sci-fi thriller Subservience. Honey, look how real they are. A brand new series the most sophisticated AI on the planet. This is yet another AI gone wrong film and is this time about a gynoid who gains sentience and starts to become hostile. It stars Megan Fox and will release in theaters on the 13th. And I promise I didn't forget the streaming services. There's a couple of big streaming movies releasing on the 20th starting with Wolves. Who are you? I'm here to take care of your problem. Who called you? This is an Apple TV Plus comedy thriller about two professional fixers who are forced to work together and find that their night is suddenly spiraling out of control. Wolf's stars Brad Pitt and George Clooney and is directed by John Watts, who directed a lot of the recent Spider-Man movies. Wolf's will have a limited theatrical release on the 20th and will debut on Apple TV Plus on the 27th. One of the bigger Netflix releases of the month is His Three Daughters. It's about three estranged sisters who meet to take care of their sick father and try to mend their own broken relationship with one another. This very much looks like one of those indie dramedies that you hear a lot about during Oscar season. It's gotten solid early reviews and stars Natasha Lyonne, Elizabeth Olsen, and Carrie Coon. It's directed by Azazel Jones, who's most known for her French exit. His Three Daughters releases on Netflix on the 20th. Next, coming from one of the most renowned directors of all time is Megalopolis. Stop! Go. 
Megalopolis is an epic sci-fi drama set in an imagined modern America and follows an architect who is determined to rebuild the metropolis of New Rome after a devastating disaster. Megalopolis comes from Francis Ford Coppola, the director known for The Godfather and Apocalypse Now. It's got a huge ensemble cast including Adam Driver, Giancarlo Esposito, Natalie Emanuel, and a ton of others. Early reviews of Megalopolis are quite mixed, but it looks really interesting to me. Definitely gonna check it out. It releases in theaters on the 27th. Also releasing on the 27th is The Wild Robot. This is a DreamWorks animated film about a robot who is stranded on an island and bonds with the local animals in order to survive. The Wild Robot is based on the Peter Brown book of the same name. It features the voices of Lupita Nyong'o, Pedro Pascal, and others, and is directed by Chris Sanders, who's most known for How to Train Your Dragon. And one more film releasing on the 27th is Never Let Go. Never let go. Never let go. Never let go. This is a survival horror film about a family who believe they need to stay connected in order to avoid an evil that takes over the world beyond their front doorstep. Never Let Go kind of gives me a quiet place in Bird Box vibes. It stars Halle Berry and is directed by Alexandra Aja, director of the 2006 version of The Hills Have Eyes. Let me know which movies you are planning on checking out in the comments below. Anything you plan on seeing in theaters or are you going to wait for everything to hit stream? Let me know and thanks so much for watching everyone. I will see you again soon